James, that's for a pro boxing fans to like to be joined with the victorious Liam Conroy. Liam, how's it feel? It feels brilliant, you know, to just be in that next round, get that win, get back to winning because I've not had too much success this year. That's what you seem to always be the underdog in every fight you go into, this one included. Does it take the pressure off you a little bit? Yeah, I just love being the underdog. I don't, other people's opinions don't really bother me. If Johnny tells me I can beat someone, then that's all I need, you know what I mean? But um, the feeling afterwards when you've been the underdog and you beat them, it's fucking ten times better, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, what are your thoughts on Andre before going to the belt? So he picked you um, to face you in this tournament. Did you feel you had the beating of him? Yeah, I thought I had the beating of him before it. I thought I had the beating of him all. So anyone that picked me, I was prepared for that. But when he picked me, I was quite happy. So um, I'm glad it played out like that. Absolutely. Now, before tonight, you was out against Stephen Wood. Unfortunately, you had lost that evening. He is in the ring currently. I know you've been quite vocal about it's a fight you want again. You want a rematch. Some people saw you winning that fight. Yeah. Again, tonight, if he comes victorious, Stephen, is that the fight you want again? You know, next round, final, where it may be? Anyway, you know, like, I'd, just that just, it just beat me, I'd love to have another go. And um, like I said, I got stopped early last time, so I'd like to finish that fight. But we got on great, you know, we've sparred each other a lot. Had a crack of him after the draw and stuff. So, um, pref preferably, we'd meet each other in a final and we'd, we'd both make as much money as we possibly could and have another good fight for, ever, for all the fans in the final. Absolutely. Now, this evening, has anyone surprised you going into the ring in the tournament? No, I, I've not seen anything else. So, I haven't really watched anyone else. I haven't really paid much attention to the other results or anything. I've just been warming up and boxing. So, Tommy Philbin first fight in against Sergey Mikhail. Tommy picked Sergey and he lost. So, he backfired a little bit on him. Yeah. How do you think he'll be feeling after having the first pick and picking the guy who has beaten him? I don't think it makes too much difference when you've been beat. It's about as low as you can feel anyway, so I don't think it'll matter that he picked he picked who he thought I had the best chance against, but any box is different on any given night, and at this type of level, in this tournament, we can all beat each other on a... So it, how you turn up on a day, and he, he obviously hasn't turned up on a day, or or not up to the standard of Serge Michael, so he, he lost, but another day he might have, so... It's just one of them things. I, I hope he comes back well from it because I know he had a bit of bad times around before and I heard in the hotel and stuff. So I hope he, I hope he bounces back well. He took it late notice. He's a super middleweight, really, so fucking fair play to him. Absolutely. Now back to yourself. If you won this competition, what would it mean to yourself? I mean, everything it changed our lives, wouldn't it? it? Changed my family's life. Me and my missus and my little boy sort our mortgage out on that, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, it'd be fucking massive and I'm going to give it everything I can to give myself the best chance to win it. Absolutely. Congratulations once again, Leon Conway. Thanks for talking to Pro Boxing fans.